guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do a newborn haul there was a lot of things that I was gifted from my baby shower that I didn't actually show you guys in the nursery tour um, so I thought I would show you in a haul because you guys seem to like pregnancy related slash new mom kind of videos also ignore the sunlight that is beaming on my face right now I decided to film at 3 p.m. which is the worst time to film in this room but we're just gonna work with it so if the lighting changes I apologize in advance we were actually gifted this from a family member but I thought I would show it because it's seriously that cute um, if you guys have been watching my channel you know I love like the forest I love rain and I just love little deer prints Annabelle already has one in her nursery and it says her name on it so I thought this was only fitting I just love it um, and I will link everything below that I can find for you guys this is from a brand called milk barn and it's like an extra huge swaddle I'm not gonna undo it but this is it folded in half and I believe this brand is all organic so it's made with natural materials nothing that has harmful chemicals for your baby so I love that so the next thing that I received are these little, I think these are called sleepers. I could be wrong. Let me know what they're actually called if I get that wrong. But they're basically like onesies without legs. So it's just like open at the bottom. And I believe somehow you like swaddle up the bottom or maybe just let it hang loose. I'm not sure how to look that up. But I heard that these are really nice for nighttime um, feedings and changings because you can obviously get to their diaper a lot quicker. And then I also got one from Gerber. Wow, this looks huge. Okay, yeah, it says zero to six months. I don't understand how a baby can have clothes that are zero to six months because a newborn is so much smaller than a six month old, but I guess it's okay if their clothes are too big for them. Let me know, I'm not sure about that. But this one, again, is from Gerber, it just says love on it. And it has little hearts and also, oh, that's cute. The sleeve turns into like a little cat or something. Super cute. Um, so she doesn't scratch her face again because apparently they do that a lot. This one's probably one of my favorite onesies and you guys will know why if you watch my channel, but this is for six to 12, so she won't be wearing this anytime soon. But OMG, this is so Doug. It says, this is how I roll and it's sushi. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, my husband is Japanese and we went to Japan on our honeymoon. So we are obsessed with sushi and I'm not even kidding you. I mean, the day after I give birth, I'm having sushi, even if it's delivered to my house. I don't even care. I want it so bad. It's just the worst privacy craving, but I can't even have it. And then the butt says, so cute. Seriously, this is from a brand called Sarah Ketty. Um, I think she got this at Spencer's or something like that. I don't even know, but it's a little onesie and it's perfect. I love it. The next thing I got, I think this is from Target because I feel like I've seen it, but it's from Cherokee and it's a little romper, zero to three months. I love when babies wear rompers. It just looks so cute. Although I feel like it's a nightmare trying to change their diaper and a romper. Cause personally me wearing a romper going to the bathroom is a nightmare. So not sure how uh, practical these are, but they are super cute. And my mom got her this little onesie for winter. Um, this says it's zero to three months, but I don't seriously understand baby sizing because this looks so big. Like I don't know how this can be newborn to three months, but I guess they grow really fast. I don't know. Doug and I kind of have a running joke that newborn babies look like potatoes. Like they all kind of look the same until they start to grow and like gain weight. They get cuter looking because there's more fat on them. I don't know. This is from Carter's and this makes more sense. Like this says three months and it looks super tiny. So I don't know. Um, and it says daddy's princess on it, which I love any kind of clothing that says daddy's princess or daddy's little girl. And I think that's just because, I don't know, I just have a feeling that Annabelle and Doug are going to be attached to the hip I don't know why I just think it's because people are just so well not people this is gonna sound weird but women are just drawn to Doug he just has like such a nice calming soothing presence around females um, that they just always feel comfortable around him at least that's what all my friends say so I just know she's gonna love him and they're gonna be obsessed with each other so yeah the next thing I got is also from Carter's and it's just like a little rose onesie super snuggly and it has um like buttons down the front so i think that'll be good for when she has to be changed all the time so the next item i'm not going to physically show you right here but i'll show you a close-up shot of it but i don't honestly don't even know what this thing is called and i'll basically link it below for you guys but it is one of the things that has been on every single mommy list that you could ever read online. This is the number one thing that you need for your newborn baby because apparently it soothes them and puts them to sleep. I don't know if it works for every single baby, but I hope it's going to work for mine. Um, and it's from Target and it's basically like a little swing. Doug already put batteries in it, so it's already good to go. And yeah, it looks cozy in there, so hopefully she'll like it. 
But the next thing I got, my mom actually sent this to me, it's from Braun. Um, it is a no touch forehead thermometer. My mom's a nurse, so hopefully she knows what she's talking about when she purchased this. Um, cause I did not look up any reviews for a thermometer, but apparently they're very necessary when you have a newborn, obviously. So yeah, we got this one. Let me know if you guys have it and if you like it. So my friend actually got us this because it has like the best reviews online. These are called Wubba Nubs. And again, I feel like a ton of you guys are going to have these for your babies because I see everybody just online having Wubba Nubs. And it's basically like a brand of pacifier. I think we got this one at Bye Bye Baby. But the reason people say they like it is because these things are weighted. So when the baby's like sucking on it and it falls out of their mouth, it still sits on their chest. So it doesn't fly across the room or get lost or anything like that. I'm just not sure how early they can start using these. I'll probably ask my mom or a nurse at the hospital. Um, I don't know if they are able to use these right outside the womb or if they have to be a little bit older because this thing kind of looks big but we're gonna find out or you guys will let me know. And then the next few things I got are baby shoes and I love it when babies wear shoes. It's totally not even necessary because they don't walk yet, but my mom got her these shoes and I fell in love. I think these are from a brand called Little Bear or something like that, but they're little like snow boots. So unnecessary, but I love them so much. They're gonna be so cute, especially if we do end up going to the snow this year, probably not with a newborn, but maybe when she gets older. Um, there's a lot of mountains by us, so we like to usually take trips up to the snow at least once. And then um, I also got these. These are kind of out there, but I really like them. I don't know where these are from. I'm sure my mom got them off Amazon. Oh, they're from Rami Russ Baby Fashion Shoes. They're like little rainbow striped booties, or they almost kind of look like Uggs. And the inside is lined with fur, so that'll be super cozy for her. And then I just got some random shoes from Target. Um, these are like for newborn. I got some white ones. They're super cheap, so I just stocked up. I don't know. And then I got some of these with little flowers on them. So yeah, that's all I really have for her shoe situation. I'll probably get more as time goes on. Also, I put all of her stuff in these bins from Home Goods, which I really like because they keep everything organized. Like this one, I put all of her bows in, or most of them. Um, so this one is my favorite bow. I don't know why, but I opened it up at my baby shower and thought it was some kind of like a turban head wrap thing, but I realized it's basically just like a giant bow and my friend gave this to her and it's white because it's going to go with everything. How cute is that? I don't know if you guys can see, but this is going to basically cover her entire head. And I'm pretty sure my friend got this one from Nordstrom. And then I just got some really cute, I think this is like a Dahlia flower. I could be wrong, but just like headband. And this one's super cute. It has like a tool bow on it. And actually, I just realized, unclips once she starts to get hair. The next thing I got off Amazon Prime is like a little, they're almost kind of like, I don't know, hygiene things or something. But you basically get... I think these are clippers or like scissors for the baby's nails. I'm actually gonna pack these with my hospital bag because a lot of um, moms that have already had their babies have told me that sometimes they birth their baby and their baby comes out with like already long nails. And so you don't want them to scratch their face. So you clip their nails right, not probably not right when they get out the womb, but something like that. Um, baby tweezers. What is this? A baby nail file. That is interesting. So as you can tell, I know nothing about anything. So yeah, this is handy. And then the next few things I got, I think these are called sleep sacks, but these were not cheap. When I found out how much my mom paid for these at the baby shower, I was like, mom, I really hope she's gonna use these because they were a pretty penny. Um, this one is from Woolino and it says that it's from two to 24 months. Um, let me know if you guys have put your babies in these, if you liked them. I hear a lot of mixed reviews about them, but this is what they look like. So basically, this looks like it goes on a toddler, but you can put it on your newborn baby, which makes no sense to me, but we're gonna find out. So it has a big zipper along the side, and it goes down like that. I think you like swaddle your baby with this thing at the bottom, depending on how long they are. And I think this one's like an all season sleeper, so you can use it all year round, which is nice. And the next one I got is from Halo. This one I heard is so good, and it's, I mean, it makes no sense to me how this thing, okay, there we go. Um, so this is a sleep sack swaddle from Halo, newborn. And then I just realized that I was just reading the back right now and it said back is best, which I guess means, well, I already know that they're supposed to sleep only on their back, but that's funny. Um, so yeah, you put them in this little part and then use these Velcro straps to like swaddle them. 
So yeah, let me know. I think I did the backwards, but let me know if you guys like this or if you use it. And then the next one I got, I think this, yeah, this one's another Halo sleep sack that's newborn. So it's the same one. It's just in a different color. And this is what it looks like all kind of swaddled up. So yeah, I guess they sleep in this at night and they really like it because it feels like they're in the womb. So that is it for my newborn haul. If you guys liked it, then give it a thumbs up below for me and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.